Eric Carson is gone, guys. He is gone. He's in the win. He's off to the Bay Area with the San Jose Sharks. Oh my god, guys. I just can't believe right now. It's a huge deal. Honestly, less than I thought from what I've just seen on Twitter. Let's just put it up on the screen and we'll do a quick recap together. But oh my god. Let's just take a second about that part. Play is going to be so nasty. So nasty. Oh my god. Carson and Burns. Carson and Burns. Let me repeat that. Carson and Burns. Again, one more time just to make sure you get it correctly. Carson and Burns. By the way, guys, this is the first time on the channel. Make sure you sub down below. I do a ton of video uh, hockey related. You don't want to miss anything out. And of course, comment your thoughts on this deal at any time. Please, please, please. Let's get a conversation going. <laughs> it's going to be so, so nasty. All right. So we, <laughs> we have Eric Carson going to the San Jose Sarks for Chris Turney. Dylan DeMello, Josh Norris, Rudolph Belsers, 2020 first round pick, 2019 second round pick, and two conditional pick to be named. Honestly, that's a terrible deal, if you ask me. Like, what's going on? Like, honestly, there's no, like, grade A prospect in that deal. Uh, yes, Josh Norris and Rudolph Belser are interesting prospects, but they're no first-line material potential prospect. Uh, Merkley is not a deal, which I thought would be the, bi the big piece coming back. So kudos for the Sharks uh, keeping uh, Merkley, of course. Uh, but only a first, a second. Let's let's wait and see what the conditional picks are. Usually they will be for an extension if Carson does re-sign with the Sharks. Because let's remember, only has one year left to his uh, a very, very good deal, by the way. But that seems to be the case. That is terrible. What is going on with <laughs> that Sen? My roommate is a Sens fan. He's going to be so pissed. I mean, what's going on with the Sens? I mean, at least good news about the Montreal Canadian. They made a good deal in my mind a few days ago. But the Sens just keep getting worse. They have no grade A prospect, like I said. Only one first. Uh, hopefully, the other conditional is at least a first. I mean, oh my god. That sounds like such a bad deal. What is going on, Sans fan? What is going on? That's that's like not even five cents on the dollar. Oh my god! It's like peace. They're trying to give five cents to the cents to make up for that dollar, just like Travis Yost said on Twitter. That is a terrible deal. Okay, so first off, guys, I want to hear you down in the comments. What do you think of this massive trade? We've waited so long, and the Sans waiting so long for such a crappy return. The only thing I'm gonna say here. Only thing I'm gonna say is the real winner of this trade room <laughs> will be the Colorado Avalanche because they have the 2019 um, Sens first round pick, and without Carson, the Sens are gonna be very, very bad. Let's be, let's be real. They were gonna be bad with, um, <laughs> with Carson anyway, but without, and that's, I guess Trini is a good guy that will help. Demelo can play on that blue line as well, but nothing too crazy to change the outcome of your team. Uh, especially not right away that 2021st is still a long way down the road that is the worst deal for Rick Carson I've seen like I said Colorado must be laughing right now getting still <laughs> having that power with the, a descent first round thing the return for the Matt Duchesne deal <laughs> kudos to Colorado for making that that move seeing that happen one of the best move of Joe Sackett career as a GM and of course what is going on oh my god guys please comment down below i need some help i need some help processing what's going on right now hopefully you have a better outcome of what the heck is going on the one thing i'm gonna say one thing i'm gonna say is that is better than nothing um i think they would have managed a lot better somewhere else uh vegas tampa bay dallas would have probably put a better deal than that in my mind i guess the answer was no they were not going to put a better deal on the table uh, but i guess it's better than nothing because we saw GT leaving the Owls uh, for absolutely no return. So, of course, I'll take that any day of the week over nothing. But if you ask me if, oh my god, that's uh, that, that's a terrible deal. Like, that's, uh, <laughs> that's just a terrible deal. So, so, just let me know what you think down below and I'll let you guys comment like on that. And you have an amazing day. All the best.